Hi everyone, my name is Iman and this is the Iman Global YouTube channel. Welcome back to another AI tutorial. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create 3D animation or 3D animated video in Pixar style using free text to video AI. Please support my YouTube channel. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Let's get started. Iman Global YouTube Channel. As you can see, these 3D animations were created using a text-to-video AI tool. You might be surprised to find out that this AI tool is currently free and has no limitations. With the help of AI, you can now create stunning 3D animations in no time, without the need for complex software like 3ds Max, Maya, Blender, or Cinema 4D. Even beginners with no prior experience can jump right in and start creating. Interestingly, you don't even need a powerful computer. The AI does the rendering for you, making it accessible to everyone. All you have to do is type in your ideas and let the AI bring them to life. Do you also dream of creating eye-catching 3D animations in the style of Pixar or Disney? The good news is you can. Stay tuned until the end of this tutorial as I take you step by step into the world of creating Pixar and Disney style 3D animations. It's time to unleash your creativity and bring your own 3D animation ideas to life. So let's get started. I visit the Hyper website. Using the Start Creating button at the top of the site, I create a user account and log in. At the top of the site, Hyper's main AI features are displayed. Key services include Create Video with Text, Animate Your Image, and Repaint Your Video. As I mentioned at the beginning of the tutorial, we aim to create a 3D animation based on text. To do this, I click on Create Video with Text. A box appears at the bottom. We need to type our idea in this box as text, known as a prompt. I've already written a prompt, so I paste it into the text box. By default, the generated videos have a real style, but we don't want that. In AI video and animation creation, the words in a prompt are crucial. Each word has significant meaning for the AI, and any word can entirely change the style and look of the generated content. In Haper's AI, the word 3D is a key term. This word ensures the AI understands the required style and converts your idea into a 3D animation instead of a real video. Since Haper's AI now has a good understanding of various animation styles, I also include the word Pixar to make sure the AI generates videos precisely according to my needs. So, keep in mind that the more details you provide in your prompt, the better the AI will understand your requirements. On the right side of the box, I click on the settings icon. Here, in the duration section, I select 4 seconds from the available 2 to 4 seconds for the video length. In the aspect ratio section, we have the freedom to choose between vertical and horizontal modes. In this case, I choose the 16 to 9 option to have an HD horizontal and cinematic video. I click on the eye icon. Here, we have the option to control the privacy of the generated videos by toggling the create in public option. I click on the create button, and the prompt enters the queue. After a short while, the video is generated based on that prompt. After this, I click the regenerate button several times. This action requeues the prompt, and new videos are generated based on the same prompt but with different variations. This way, we end up with a large number of videos generated from a single prompt but with different variations. As of the time of this tutorial, the regenerate feature has no limits. However, limitations might be imposed on this feature in the near future. I play the videos and review them. They match my needs, featuring 3D animation in a Pixar style. On the right side of each video frame, there's a maximize icon for playing the video in full size. To download the videos, there's a download button below each frame. By clicking the right arrow icon, you can access the video info box, which contains the full text of the prompt. As I mentioned earlier, using the regenerate button re-enters the current prompt into the video creation process. Clicking on the three-dot icon opens a new menu that includes the delete video option, which you can use to remove videos if needed. Clicking the edit icon takes you to the very prompt section, where you can edit and change the current prompt and send it for generation again. For example, this time, I'll replace the word octopus with lion and click generate. With the method I showed you, you can create a large number of videos in a 3D animation style featuring your favorite characters. Review the videos and download the best ones. Don't forget to do this based on a story. 
For writing your story, you can use AI tools like ChatGPT or even Bard. Bring your favorite characters to life and turn your ideas into stories with the help of these chatbots. If you'd like a separate tutorial on using AI for story writing, let me know in the comments. After converting your ideas into videos and animations, you need to edit them using software like Adobe Premiere Pro, CapCut, or other options to tell your story. As you can see, I've created many videos and animations. I arrange the videos sequentially on a timeline to create a longer video or animation. If you'd like a separate tutorial on the complete video editing process, type editing in the comments. If there are enough requests, I'll definitely make a new tutorial and upload it to my YouTube channel soon. In this section, I've only scratched the surface of what Hyper can do. If you're eager to learn more and explore the rest of Hyper's features, let me know by commenting Hyper below. Thank you for watching this tutorial. If you picked up something new, give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends. By the way, if you have any AI-related questions, feel free to ask them in the comments section. I'm always happy to help in any way I can. Stay tuned for more AI tutorials coming soon to this channel. Subscribe and enable notifications so you don't miss a thing. The future is AI. Embrace it. See you in the next video.